Okay, let's do our warm ups and get ready for a little hip opening here right at the hip flexors at the front. So shoulders back and down, ankles, knees, hips, and shoulders lined up. Get that core activated, supporting your spine, and relax your arms. Reach your crown to the ceiling. Close your eyes and focus in. We're drawing in energy and oxygen. Exhale, releasing stress and tension. And just get ready for whatever is ahead in your practice today. And as you inhale, bring your arms to shoulder level, but keep the shoulders down. Stretch the fingertips and head away. Exhale, hands to your heart. Stretch out to the front, keeping your shoulders still down. And then clasp your hands behind you, press them toward the floor, just gently and lift your heart, stretch your head back, spread your toes out. And as you exhale, pivot at your hips, coming all the way deeply into that pivot. Hands up, head down, letting those shoulders get a movement. Move your chin around, let your neck release a little bit. And then knees slightly toward your toes, sitting bones toward the floor. And roll your spine all the way back up into another back bend, lifting your heart. Stretch your head away and drop the shoulders down. And don't forget to breathe. And then inhale upright. Release your arms and feel a little bit of energy through your spine and body. And again, inhaling, reaching out at shoulder level. Exhale to your heart, elbows slightly back. Inhale out to the front, shoulders down. And then clasp your hands the opposite way behind you. So shift the fingers one position over and then press them down. Lift your heart, stretch your spine. Pivot over as you exhale. And again, just let that spine begin warming up nicely. Tuck in your chin. Slowly work back all the way up. And another heart high. Shoulder down. Upper body back there. Take a moment to breathe as you lift the chest. Stretch the head away. Spread the toes out. Inhale upright. Release your arms. And just take a moment again, noticing your body responding. And we'll stretch the thighs. Let's keep one arm down, the other one out. Shoulder down. Palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Push the hand away to keep the shoulder going down toward your waist. Lean to the side, no twist. And push the hands past your knee or toward your knee, and the other one out by your head. Keep your arm next to your ear. And make sure you're not leaning forward. So nice stretch through the ribs. And on an inhalation, come up. Exhale that arm down. And we'll do the other side. Arm out, palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Push the hands away, getting that stretch going. And keep going over to the side. And again, the hand slides toward or beyond your knee as much as you need it to. And slightly look up if you need to, to keep from leaning forward. Feel those ribs stretch apart. Feel the other side contracting. And don't forget to breathe. And then inhaling, come back up and release into mountain. Shoulders back and down, everything realigned. And stretch and find apart for our twist. Arms at shoulder level. Palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders, clasp your elbows. Bring your arms next to your ears and stretch apart through the spine so it can twist and turn to one side. Take a breath, sink evenly into your feet, spreading your toes. Come on over in the twist. Keep the weight on both feet as evenly as you can. And don't forget to lift your sitting bones for a nice stretch along your back of your legs. Inhale up in the twist and lift your chest, coming into that upper body for a little back bend while you're twisted. Remember, shoulders down, elbows back, chest high, and very gentle on that low back area while you're twisting. Inhale to the top, exhale around to the center and switch your arms. And again, stretch everything apart and exhale to the other side. Take a breath. 
and pivot over as you exhale. Again, just deepen as much on this side as you'd like. Lift the spinning bones maybe a little for that leg stretch area. And don't forget to keep the weight on both feet as evenly as you can. Inhaling, work your way back up, staying in your twist, going into that upper body for your back bend, not your lower back. Shoulders down, elbows back, and chest. And on an inhalation, come up, exhale around to the center. Arms up, shoulders down into extended mountain. Sink evenly into your feet, sitting bones down. Stretch the crown up. And then swan dive forward, arms at shoulder level, pivot at your hips, and stretch out halfway down. And then drop into ragdoll and just hang however deeply it wants to go. Lift the sitting bones, get the legs stretching a little more. Pull in deeper if you like with your hands behind your legs. And then back to the front with your hands, bend your knees slightly. And another roll up from the bottom of the spine, slowly coming up, bring those shoulders back and down, and again into them. As you get there, just take a moment feeling your spine, noticing how that's working. Bring your hands onto your back, heels of the palms about lower shoulder blades and fingertips down toward your hips. Elbows toward each other, feel the chest expand. And then keep the hips above the ankles and look overhead, lifting your heart and pushing your head back. And just feel that front of your body begin stretching a little bit more. Take a breath. Just exhale and deepen as much as you'd like. Nice support on your hands for that lower back area in your back bend. Feel those hips starting to expand a little bit along the front of your thighs. And then chin towards your chest, inhaling, come back upright, releasing into mountain pose. Feel what's going on through the front of your body, and don't forget to breathe. We're going to step to the end of the mat, mountain pose, bring your hands to your heart, prayer position, and then inhale, bring the hands toward the ceiling. Follow your thumbs as you pull them back behind you, lifting the heart into a nice little back bend. Again, a nice opening through the front of the hips. Exhale, hands to your heart. Pivot at the hips, releasing that stretch, coming into ragdoll. Deepen it. Slide your hands up under your knees, stretch and straighten. So shoulder blades back towards your sitting bones, towards your hips, and crown reaching away. Elbows, knees, and spine nice and straight in that halfway up stretch. Spread your toes, bend your knees slightly, bring your hands all the way down to the floor, right under your shoulders. We're stepping the right foot a good step back into lunge position. So get your hip as low as you can. You want your ankle, knee, hip, and shoulder as lined up as you can. Spread your toes. Keep this front knee over the ankle. Don't let it fall out to the side of the mat or in toward the big toe, but just right above your ankle. And then slide the toes back and bring the top of your knee down to the floor, not directly on the kneecap if you can manage, or put a little padding under your knee if you need to. Feel this hip flexor, front of the thigh on that right leg stretch a little bit more. Take a moment and breathe, kind of sink a little deeper. Exhale any tension. And then bring one hand and then the other to the front knee. And just again, sink straight down through that hip. Feel it stretch a little bit more. Remember, relax. Don't tense and tighten, but let it just release down and sink. Exhale any stress. And then bring your hands down under your shoulders. Tuck your toes. And lift onto the ball of your foot, base of the toe area, and press out through your heel. Keep the hip low, so you're lifting your knee, not your hip, coming back into that straight lunge position. And then push off that back foot and come into your forward position, folding, getting that hip released where it was stretching. Palms together, inhaling. 
hands to your heart, and again, up to the ceiling, and another back bend, stretching. I'm just going to the other end so you can see what I'm doing. As you come into that back bend, feel that whole front of your body, especially through the hip area, stretch open. Exhale, hands to your heart, pivot on over. And again, that release through the hips as you lift the sitting bones, coming into ragdoll. Slide up into the halfway up stretch, shoulders back towards your hips, and crown reaching the other direction. Elbows, knees, spine, stretch. Bend your knees slightly, come on all the way, hands to the floor. And remember, if that's too far for you, you can use blocks or books under your hands to raise the floor. And then step the left foot back. Again, a nice lunge to start with. Knee over the ankle. Stretch out through the head, back through the heel. Sink those hips down. Keep the hip bones as even as you can. And just let that hip sink. And then bring the knee all the way to the floor. Again, try to be slightly above the kneecap or a pad it if you need to. Slide the toes a little bit more back. That gives you a little bit more stretch on that front of that left leg. And then again, hands to the front knee, top of the head toward the ceiling. And then again, relax and sink straight down with your hips, both hips. But you'll feel it more on that left front of your thigh. Take a breath, chest slightly forward, shoulders down, just letting that whole hip area really relax, giving a good stretch. Exhaling, hands back to the floor under your shoulders. Tuck your toes, come out to the ball of your foot, base of the toe area, push back through the heel. Make sure that hip stays low as you get back into that lunge position. Check your knee, make sure it's not going out toward the side or falling in, but right above your ankle. Stretch through the heel and the head, and then push off, and relax the right bell again, just releasing where you were stretching. Hands together, inhaling, and again, a nice rise up into a back bend. And of course, we're gonna go back to the first side. So give yourself a good stretch, keep the shoulders down, keep the heart lifting, the head reaching back, and exhale, and again, pivoting, hands first to your heart, pivoting right there at that front of the thigh joint, coming into ragdoll. Slide up into that halfway up stretch, get those shoulders back, crown and sitting bones stretching apart. Bend your knees slightly, hands to the floor under your shoulders, Step the right foot back again into lunge. Press back and relax. Let that hip sink. See if that's a little straighter, maybe this time, ankle, knee, hip, shoulder lining up. And again, we're going to slide back with the toes and bring the knee down. Sliding those toes further back as much as that stretch wants to allow. And then you can come with your hands to the front knee and again, do that same stretch down. Or you can sweep your hands forward and follow them looking up, lifting your heart, sinking your hips also, exhaling and relaxing into it. Feeling that stretch, maybe lengthen and stretch a little more through that hip flexor on the front of your right leg. Take a breath, just thinking. And then exhaling once more, hands to the floor under your shoulders. Tuck your toes, lift your knee, not your hip, and again, press into that lunge. Get a nice straight line through your whole body. Check your knee, make sure it's not falling one way or the other. And then again, step up and drag down. Let everything relax as you're there. Feel that front of the thigh just releasing. Palms together again, inhaling into your back bend. And standing position. Follow those hands back behind you, feeling that stretch through the front of the hips, lifting your heart, stretching your head. Remember, stretch your neck as well. Exhaling, pivot on a little bit. Bring your hands down, shoulders toward your waist throughout, dropping into ragdoll. Slide up hands under your knees, stretch and straighten that halfway up stretch. Exhale, bend down, 
Hands under your shoulders on the floor, stepping your left foot back into lunge. Again, feel that hip coming slightly down, getting things nicely stretched out through that hip area. Reach the crown, stretching away from the heel. And then exhaling, bring your knee down, slide the toes back. Again, check the alignment on that front leg. And bring your hands either to the front knee again for that gentle stretch. Or go a little further with the hands out to the front and up. Shoulders still down, chest lifting, looking up towards your hands, letting those hips sag toward the floor. Take a breath. Just exhale and relax as deeply into this one as feels right for you. Take a breath, just relaxing. When you're ready to release, exhale those hands back under your shoulders. Tuck your toes again onto the ball of your foot and stretch back through the heel. Did you make sure that you kept the hip down as you lifted the knee? Coming into that straight line lunge position. And then pushing forward, once again, just relax there, releasing the hips and right dog. And then we're going to, of course, do one more version. So bring your hands again up into that upward stretch, looking at your hands, coming into that back bend toward the ceiling, lifting your heart, pulling those hands back. Exhale again, pivoting on over. Drop into ragdoll, and then slide into your halfway up stretch. Shoulder blades towards your waist, head and sitting bones stretching apart. Exhale, bend your knees, hands under your shoulders to the floor, and another right foot back lunge. Take a breath. Exhale and relax. You can bring your knee to the floor again if you want to continue that gentle version or one of the two we did before. Or you can stay up on the base of your toes, pressing back through the heel behind you, and then sweep the hands forward and come into your lunge position with chest high, head high, hips sinking. Take a breath. Just relax. So whatever position in, you're in, hips going toward the floor. Exhaling, hands back under your shoulders. And again, pressing forward. Oh, if you had the knee down, don't forget you have to bring that up first. And relax and right go. Hands together, and again, coming up into your stretch. Lengthening, stretching, feeling those hips nice and open, as well as the heart. Don't forget shoulder blades toward your waist. And exhale and pivot on over. Drop into ragdoll, sitting bones up and down. And don't forget kneecaps lifting, letting those backs of the legs stretch as you're in that ragdoll. And then sliding up into your halfway up stretch. Shoulder blades toward your waist. Head and sitting bones stretch up. Take another breath and exhaling, bend your knees, coming hands to the floor and stepping the left foot back. Press into the base of your toes, get the knee above your ankle, make sure it's aligned, not leaning out or in. And again, you can stay up or you can bring that knee to the floor once more. And then sliding into your Lunge position, raising the hands toward the ceiling if that's working for you. Chest forward, head slightly back, hips sinking. Take a breath. Just relax into it as much as you want. Keep that knee above your ankle. Exhale any tension. And then releasing, hands back to the floor. Lift that knee if the knee is down. Don't forget tucking the toes under, lifting the knee, getting everything stretched and straight, and releasing once more into that dog. And inhaling one more time, coming into your back bend. Shoulders down, heart high. Stretch the head slightly back. 
Feel that whole front of your body opening. Maybe going a little deeper into that back bend this time. If still slightly above your, right above your ankles. And exhaling. Again, pivoting over. Drop into ragdoll. Lift the hips. Slide the hands up. Another halfway up stretch, long and straight. Exhale, bending the knees, hands to the floor, right foot again to lunge position. So once again, you can stay up or bring the knee down. And we're going to again sweep the hands forward and up. Oops. Coming into your lunge. Knee above your ankle, remember not in or out. Hips sinking down evenly. And then if you've got your hands up, you can leave them there, or you can circle them around behind you, clasp and press them toward your foot. So you'll feel that chest expand a little more, and the hip open maybe a little bit further as well. Sink straight down, take a breath, and relax. And then whichever version you're in, bring the hands back to the floor. Lift your knee if it's down, lean back onto the base of the toes, heel and head pressing away, and once again, stepping into ragdoll. And inhaling, come all the way up, and again, into your back bend. Feel that front of your body stretching open. Exhale any tension, shoulders towards your waist. Heart toward the sea. And once more, follow your hands down, exhaling into ragdoll. Take a breath, exhale and deepen. Slide your hands up into the halfway up stretch. Lengthen everything, elbows, knees, and spine stirring and stretching apart. Bend your knees, hands under your shoulders on the floor. And one more time for that left foot to step back into your lunge. Find your position, exhale any tension. And if you're a knee to the floor person, go ahead and do that. If you're in an upright position, for everybody, just check that knee position above your ankle and slide into your extension. You can stay with the arms upright, or circle them around, clasp the opposite way behind you with the fingers in one position over. And again, chest forward, crown up and slightly back as you sink the hips toward the floor. Spread your toes, get good support under you. Exhale any tension. And once again, bring the hands to the floor, lift your knee if it's down. Stretch and straighten everything in your lunge as straight from ankle, knee, hip, and shoulder as you can. Shoulder blades towards your waist, hips sinking. And once more, step forward and relax and ragdoll. Hands together, inhaling, come on up. And oh, another nice back bend. Hips above your ankles, chest high, head back. Exhale, hands to your heart, stepping back into mountain pose. Take a moment as you get into mountain pose, just feeling your body, especially through that hip area, at the front of your thighs. Hands together. Inhale, let's do one more back bend. Exhale to your heart, all the way over. And as you drop into ragdoll, bend your knees. Coming into child's pose, really thinning that hip flexor area completely. Take a breath. Just let your body sink. And then inhaling, sit up on your heels, slide off, bringing your feet to the end of the mat, coming into staff position. Sitting bones slightly behind you, press out through the heels, toes pulling back, knees up toward the ceiling, core activated, and we're going to slowly roll to the mat. 
So coming all the way down onto your back, reclined integration, just let that hip area just soften and soon. Toes slightly toward each other. Relax those shoulders down. Exhale any tension. And then bring your arms to T position. Let's turn the palms down for a little extra stability. Now options, you're going to push the thin bones slightly toward the floor, your back down. And then either you can bend the knees and bring the legs up to the ceiling, right above your hip. Or if you prefer, you can use that core and bring both feet up straight toward the ceiling and get into that perpendicular to the floor position. So your body is relaxing, whole back of your body on the floor. Feet pressing up toward the ceiling. We're going to do a pendulum twist. So it's a little more stressful on the back. If you don't want too much stress in that low back, you can bend your knees while you're doing this. And we're going to roll the legs over to one side while you turn your head toward the opposite side. Press those arms and shoulders way down into the floor for support. And just cover those feet slightly above the floor. Take a breath. Relax. Your twist, bend your knees if you need to. And then we're going to bring the feet back up straight above your hips. And again, just feel what was going on through your spine as that energy moves through you. And of course, we're going to pendulum to the opposite side. So again, feet pressing up and rolling to one side as your head turns toward the opposite side. Feet just above the floor. Exhale and relax, or just as far down toward the floor as they want to go. And remember, bending your knees makes it easier. Shoulder, shoulder blades down. Feel that whole spine going into your twist. Head turning for your neck, legs going toward the floor for that lower back. And of course, shoulders, shoulder blades down for that middle back. Take a breath. And then inhale. And again, be up right above your hips. Shoulders, shoulder blades down, back gently pressing into the floor, core activated, arms at T position, palms down for support as you slowly lower your legs to the mat. And when you get all the way down, just relax. Shift your hands near your hips, palms up, shoulders and shoulder blades down into the floor, Coming into corpse position, toes slightly toward each other, and then just let your legs relax, the toes more or less up toward the ceiling. Take a breath. Exhale through the hips and pelvis, through the belly, through the spine. Take another breath. Exhale, letting your whole body grow heavy. Sinking deeper into that surface beneath you. So just let everything go. Lots of hip work today. Just let it release. Belly soft. Muscles relaxing. Deepening into that earthbound support. Just let it go. Scan through your body. Find any tightness. Breathe there. Exhale. Let it relax even further. As your body grows heavier and sinks deeper into that earth embrace, just let it go from your awareness. And as those thoughts release, know that other thoughts will come to you. It's the job of your mind to produce thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. Just let the thoughts of the past release. Any anticipation of the future, just forget it. Any content of any thoughts, just let it disappear as easily as your breath floating away. And as you release those thoughts, releasing thoughts of your body and of your mind, just let your awareness release both your body and your mind. Focus inward. Find that peace within. Let your body relax into the peace and your mind just drift peacefully and allow yourself to take a few moments being.
is And if that relaxation feels so good today, you want to keep relaxing, just take your time. If it's time to get ready for the rest of your day, begin drawing energy and awareness with your breath back to the moment, to the room, to your body. As you begin breathing more deeply, just begin moving your body gently, however feels right for you today. You can move those legs and knees and ankles around, give you that hip massaging a little bit. And as you breathe and stretch more completely, when you're ready for your final yoga hug of appreciation, sitting bones toward your heels, drawing your heels up toward your hips, and your knees toward your heart. Wrap your arms around for that appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release, head and feet to the floor, roll over to the side. And when you're ready, sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.